Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about colors and in particular about RGB and uh, CMYK in InDesign. So one of the fir first thing to know is that uh, um, it's uh, great to have uh, a Creative Cloud library in which uh, you're going to have uh, all the assets and elements for your client's project. So as you can see on the right, uh, and by the way, if you don't see that uh, panel, uh, just be sure that you clicked on Essentials in this uh, very top window so that the view is consistent. Now, as you can see, um, here you're going to have all the colors, the character styles, the graphics for your whole project. And the great thing about the CC libraries is that uh, they are common um, throughout the softwares such as uh, Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign so that you're always going to have these assets at the hand. So um, as we go on to the um, color section, we can actually add some uh, colors on the swatches panel. And um, so just click here and uh, in the flyout menu, you're going to see the very first option which is called the new color swatch. So just click on it and uh, here you're going to, to be able to create the um, color combinations that you want and uh, in this particular section you're going to see the mode. So um, you're going to select either CMYK, RGB and uh, in some other instances uh, you might select one of these uh, depending on the project but the most common ones are CMYK and RGB. And uh, CMYK is mainly used uh, for print uh, since that's the, the standard um, to for, for printing reasons and uh, RGB usually the colors are um, can be more bright uh, and um, they are usually used for um, digital purposes so you know online graphics and um, or so, so such an ebooks and um, you know, so, so forth. So you can select them from here. I'll just gonna select the RGB for now. Uh, but if we um, try and do RGB, you can actually see that uh, um, it will change. And uh, over here, let's go back to CMYK, um, you can change the color up. And um, <clears throat> once you're done, you can simply click uh, on OK. And um, you just created a new CMYK uh, color swatch. So this is it for this video. Um, I know that throughout this course we haven't really went on and uh, did much so far, but I promise you we're going to make a lot of progress in uh, no time in the following videos. So stay tuned.